This is fresh and here's for the two. experiment with that and see um just gotta go probably get banana leaves and tea leaves we can probably get that from mom's house buddy hey buddy go check out our forest oh yeah I should get some of these this is what I need I'm probably gonna grab some of these. Oh yeah, we got some tea leaves over here. Here we go. So I'm gonna put some um, some of these tea leaves in the emu. And uh, oh, here's her sugar apple. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, they're growing. They're growing. It's a baby one right there. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And it clustered jungle back here. Crazy. Oh, look at, wait, wait, this, the neighbor's got choke tea leaves. All right, we got mom's jungle over here with, the, with, her, with her ninja pants. Um, oh, wow. This is, a, this is the coconut tree. Um, I actually brought from from Kahuku. I grew it at my place. And it was probably maybe like this tall and I dug it up gave it to her and look at this bad boy it's just yeah it's that's pretty good be that's pretty good I don't know we just wanted to visit mom and check out her forest here and grab some banana leaves and some tea leaves and Get that emu started, man. That's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at his beauties. A lot of good ones. Morning, guys. Um, yeah, it's kind of raining this morning, but not much um, area for real estate, but uh, it's gonna be my baby emu. Um, I'm gonna do a little manini emu and uh, cheers. It's coming down pretty good, but um, last night, oh, here's my box. I'm gonna pick up tea leaves and banana leaves. I'm gonna soak them and uh, clean them up. Guys, the uh, sun is coming out and um, cleaning up the place a little bit. Here's my spot. And uh, gonna be heating up these rocks, cleaning up those leaves, and um, we're on our way. I think we should be good. Maybe a little bit more for the top. This is nice, beautiful. Yeah, it was so dark last night when we went to mom's. Um, I couldn't really get much footage of uh, us taking this from the tree and um, and the tea leaf. But this small shovel down. I got it's got a I don't know if it's blue rock or um, I don't think it's blue rock 
when I excavated the front of the house, it was, it's, I mean, big slabs. Um, some say it's blue rock. Uh, um, you probably can't see it, but it's, uh, it's, I have to get the, the, the chipping gun. And um, when I was planting, the roots won't go in too deep because it'll hit the, uh, the lava blue rock. I, I don't know. Um, it's it's when you chip on it, it it breaks I know blue rocks is tougher than that so if you know about rocks um, feel free to help me out Line this up a little bit so I don't get it all muddy. Yeah, coming back to the rocks, man, these are the ones, um, I know they work for emu. Got some crazy smoke going on here. I don't know why, but um, it's heating up. Um, while the rocks are heating up, I'm gonna start cleaning up these tea leaves, season up, and um, get it wrapped up in the tea leaves, and clean up the potatoes, and we'll see. We'll get it going. Get the, the fire and it's like smoking up the whole neighborhood, but. Um, I'm going to season these guys up. Clean them up first before I start wrapping. Yeah, yeah. This one I got uh, last week, so it's this is fresh and get that going. Yeah, I'm put a little bit of, oh no, my hands are dirty. Look at this guy. Here we go. Here's for the two. I'm actually gonna be wrapping these guys up. I don't know what's the best way, man. Maybe like that. covered quite a bit um, with uh, banana leaves and so forth. So let's try this guy this way. Um, put this 
You know what? I still got... Uh, I almost forgot to put this. Oh boy. Put it in the center just like that. Um, this guy as well. There we go. I really man. lock this guy in. Yeah. 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 So here we go. Um I hope this this is my first tomahawk emu, so <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I couldn't get the, the one inch um, chicken wire. I had to get this one. Uh, let's let's put this on the fire before we start smoking up more of the neighbor. Alright guys, I'm gonna put this in here. Got one and two. That's ready to go. Guys, you know what I forgot to put? Um, the shiitake and the matsutake. Uh, reason for this is I wanted that earthy mess since it's going to go in the ground. Uh, it's going to go in the ground, so I want the matsutake for the spice. A little bit of spiciness, not spicy hot, but uh, a little peppery. And the uh, shiitake, of course, is going to give that a earthiness. So I'm going to unwrap this and put that in. On top, on the side. It's going to give it that earthiness and hopefully a little bit of spice, a little bit of spice. That's ready to go. Um, leaves. Done, guys. My baby, oh, that's hot. Baby miniature emu. Two tomahawks. Um, I'm 
just going to touch the edge. Keep that smoke in. Um, I don't know if I should cover the uh, I might as well That wasn't crazy enough. That was um, my very first two tomahawk, two tomahawk um, emu, baby emu, right in the backyard, man. It was killing the neighbors with uh, all the smokes and um, I had to get the blower out just to get the, um, the tinder going so it, it'll cut down the smoke. But I'm glad that's all done for now. Let's let it cook. Um, again, I forgot the mushroom. I was trying to rush because it was smoking so bad that I uh, had to get everything salted up and into the fire. But we'll see. I will monitor the internal temperature of those steaks and um, we'll go from there. Hopefully that this turns out good where I can keep making more of these, man. This, this is going to be so super cool. I just can't wait to sink my teeth into that thing pretty awesome it was scary at one point when uh, all the smoke was just getting everywhere but um, I'll monitor that temperature once it hits 131 132 on the internal I'm gonna come back out and pull it out man I don't want to overcook that thing all right uh, after that when smoke was getting my eyes um, man, it was burning I need a good shower so I'm gonna go ahead and Take a shower, get some coffee, and um, wait while our tomahawk steaks cook. Uh, it looks like my internal temperature is hitting it. Um, this one, probably my probe is kind of far off. It, it's, it's not, they should be almost the same. I'm just following this one because it's... Um, it would make more sense. This one is probably not on a sensor where it's just really getting direct hit, I mean heat. So that's gonna be um, off, but 132, I'm gonna go out there and uh, take it apart. That being like crazy, the alarm. And um, time to take that out, man. I just can't wait to sink my teeth in there. The One of the temperature is way high the other one is just about right for medium rare and I'm going with the lower temperature because the probe could be just a little off the meat and it's capturing all the heat so we'll see let's take a look Smells good. Oh, it's so hot. You can smell that banana. Oh, the bananas and the, the tea leaf smell is it's wonderful. We can. Oh, wow, this steaming hot goodness. I might need this because, in case I want to keep cooking the potatoes. Why am I grabbing this with my hands? That's the That's what you call the old Hawaiian oven. That is crazy. 
I wanted to try this, these river rocks. They're really hot. I just have the gloves on, so they are not too bad. Like these ones are, are really hot. They're, wow. There's the emu. Look at that. That steak is cooked to perfection, man. Yeah, hi guys. That is crazy. Bottom of this tree is hot. I can smell the mushrooms. Oh, you smell that tomahawk. Totally smell that tomahawk. It's called the um, Kauai Purple. It's the Kauai Sweet Potato. But look at that. Check this out, man. Check this out. This is gonna be so good. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, this peels off the skin. Looks like the salt from the steak kind of got to the potato, so it's really good. Mm. Man. Man, that was good. All right, these just came out. These um, shiitake, the mushroom. I wanted to add that earthiness, look at that. I think this is cooked really good. I'm gonna see, let's we'll cut it up. up. But I just wanna see what the inside of this really looks like. Oh, this is, look at that, emu, the Hawaiian traditional way, a little bit of twist, but that, oh, that's, it's going to be so tender, but gosh, man, check it out, check this out, look at this, look at that, can you see that, wow, oh, it smells so good. Mm. Guys, that's crazy. It's 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 cooked to perfection, man. This is this is amazingly crazy with the shiitake mushroom. I should make a red wine sauce with the mushroom on that, but. Goodness, um, this is the, um, I'm going to hold off on this one, I want to see the other one, see how, I just want to sear that, I'm actually going to sear that, sear it just a little bit, but take a look at this again, I think it's cooked emu style, I mean, that Hawaiian emu with the rocks, the banana leaves, the, 
the stump, I got some in there, the tea leaf, you can smell the tea leaf. I put Hawaiian black salt and garlic. That's it. And then I put the mushrooms in there. Um, that's how you cook a tomahawk. I don't know if that was the first tomahawk in the Hawaiian emu, but surely it is my first tomahawk in the Hawaiian emu. Um, I used the river rocks and it wasn't a big hole, just a tiny hole, a small puka where I could put all my charcoal and wood in, top it off with the rocks. <laughs> it was so much fun. It took a lot of time, it took a lot of effort, but this is so well worth it. I'm going to sear this up and um, hmm, kawaii sweet potato. Can't go wrong with this, man. This is, this is, oh, baby food right there. That's emu tomahawk. Look at that. Try it again. Mm. Oh, that banana flavor and the tea leaf and the underground earthiness of the mushrooms I put in. Wow, that's good. All right, let's eat. So we're ready to eat now, and man, we got this tomahawk cooked in the emu Hawaiian style. I it, it was so much fun, a lot of work, but well worth it after tasting that. We got the kawaii potato and the Okinawan sweet potato. They're both sweet potatoes, but and both purple. So you can't really tell unless you look at the skin color. The uh, techie here is having it with her salad. Okay. You know me, local boy, I love rice. So let's go, let's dig in. Try, try, um, try it out. Try it I'm gonna, before you do that, I'm gonna pour some wine here. Pretty good. Very it has good. that club pig mm -hmm. mushiness, like um, mushiness, and then the yeah, banana leaves um, smell on there. Yeah. Try, try, mm. try this big piece. There's no sauce. I should have made a wine reduction sauce with those mushrooms. That would have been. Uh... Here we go, guys. Mm -hmm. ah, it's wonderful. I've been tasting this since I pulled it out of the emu. And um, again. I haven't seen tomahawk emu, but I wonder if I'm the first. But anyway, regardless, it's my first Hawaiian emu tomahawk steak. Just, um, oh, it's so good. The mushrooms and, you know, pairing it with good wine. Mm. Wow. That's the shiitake and the marutake. It's a bit spicy. But I wanted that earthy, earthy taste and aroma to the steak. Um, there's no other way to pull it out. I had to, to sear it just to get the outside crust. But inside, I actually like the way it's cooked. It's really good. It um, flavor is wonderful. But man, rice, potato. Steak, wine, oh, so good. Let me chew. So, again, guys, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and share if you wish. And if you've been watching and you've already subscribed, thank you so much for the aloha, you know, showing the love. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, stay tuned and we'll have more. So, Keki and I are going to eat now and um, we'll see you in the next episode, alright? Aloha.